Hi there, and welcome to another mini bio lesson. Today's re topic reviews how biological information flows from DNA to RNA to proteins. Let's trace the, genetic, the flow of genetic information from DNA to proteins by creating a diagram that will serve as a framework to organize your understanding. At this point, it would be a good idea to gather a piece of paper and some writing utensils, multiple colors if possible. Taking time to commit these ideas to paper will enhance your learning. On a standard piece of paper, write the title for this right at the top. Perhaps something like the foundation of biology or genetic information, something important. Now let's write some large titles down the center of the page. About a quarter of the way down, let's write DNA in uppercase letters. Halfway down, directly underneath that, let's put mRNA. The M is usually lowercase and the RNA uppercase. To end, and then underneath that, at the bottom of the page, let's put protein. Now to indicate the flow of information, let's connect the DNA to mRNA with an arrow. Make sure the arrow points from DNA to mRNA. Also, let's connect an arrow from mRNA to protein. This diagram represents the usual pr protein production pathway in a cell. Now DNA has two vital functions. First, DNA has to be able to copy itself. As genetic material, the information in DNA flows from one generation to the next during reproduction. So to indicate that, Let's take an arrow out of this right side of DNA and bring it over around to the left side in a circle. Indicate that DNA copies itself. The second function of DNA is to direct the essential cellular processes of an organism. Most of these processes are controlled and directed by proteins. It is the information stored in DNA that ultimately directs the construction of thousands of different kinds of proteins. Now each of these arrows that you've drawn represents an important cellular process, so let's label them. Use a different color of ink if you have it. When DNA produces a copy of itself, it's called DNA replication. So label the circular arrow replication. You could also add the words DNA polymerase in the parentheses to remind yourself that the molecule that performs, this is the molecule that performs DNA replication. Next, label the arrow that goes from DNA to messenger RNA as transcription. What does that word mean? Well, here's an example. The court reporter transcribes the spoken proceedings of a trial into a written court record. It's important that the message and the language are the same before and after the transcription. A similar process occurs when a small segment of DNA is transcribed into messenger RNA. The language and message remains the same. The language of nucleic acids and their sequence of bases is just a different form of that language from DNA to RNA. You might include the word RNA polymerase in parentheses to remind yourself that this is the molecule that performs transcription. The language of proteins is coded in the sequence of amino acid. This is a different language than the language of DNA or RNA. How is the language of nucleotide triplets translated into the language of amino acids? A molecule called tRNA or transfer RNA performs the translation. On one end of the tRNA molecule there's an anticodon that pairs to a particular mRNA codon. At the other end of the tRNA there is an amino acid binding site that binds to only one specific amino acid. A molecule of DRNA, tRNA thus speaks the language of nucleic acids on one end and amino acid language on its other end. Label the arrow that will mRNA to protein translation. Add tRNAs and ribosomes in parentheses to remind yourself that the molecule that performs translation is tRNA and the site of translation is ribosomes. This completes your diagram and it effectively summarizes the flow of genetic information in a cell. It will help you keep the entire process in mind as you study. Use this diagram as a learning foundation to modify as you organize your understanding of the flow of genetic information. 
Good luck with your studies, and I'll see you at another mini bio lesson.